Hi guys and girls and welcome to Aista. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create and deploy a full stack app wrapping your database of choice in five minutes and how you can host it for six euros per month. Total cost of ownership, assuming you do everything yourself would then be six euros per month, literally, for a full stack uh, web app. First, um, go to aista.com and then sign up. If you haven't signed up already, I already have signed up, so I'm going to log in with my existing account. And then I'm brought on to Hub. In Hub, I can click Create Cloudlet. I can create a demo Cloudlet that lasts for 90 days. If you want to upgrade it to a professional uh, Cloudlet, you can do so later. Just remember to do it before 90 days have passed. Otherwise, the Cloudlet is going to be automatically destroyed. Professional Cloudlets are six euros per month. So I'm going to create mine in uh, London. And then after some 30 seconds, my Cloudlet is going to be available on the network. And I can uh, start uh, creating my app. Now my Cloudlet is done. I can visit it by clicking the URL parts here. Proceed to Cloudlet. Which point I'm brought onto the magic dashboard, which allows me to configure my Cloudlet. You can see an introduction to the dashboard here, or you can see the recipe you need to follow here. Now, the way you would typically do this, if you have an existing database, is you click the first link here at the top, right? Then you would click connect to database. And at this point, you could provide a connection string to MySQL, PostgreSQL, or SQL Server. You can give your connection string a name, and then you can copy and paste your connection string in here. One crucial thing, Typically, connection strings have database equal and then the name of your database. It can be CRM, right? Now, what I want you to write here instead of your database catalog name, I want you to write database like this. Why? Because Magic uh, will read metadata from your database and it will allow itself to connect to all your databases. The way it does that is by substituting this with the catalog name as you are creating a connection. And uh, if you have an edge hosted um, database hosted with Amazon or Azure or something like that, and this is your Cloudlet's IP address, you might need to whitelist the IP address. You can even just copy it here, it's on your clipboard. Then you can go to Amazon or Azure or whatever and you know whitelist that particular IP address, allowing it to access your database. Uh, I don't have a database, I'm just going to like install a plugin database. So let's install uh, Chinook DB. It's a free SQL Lite uh, database uh, that you can install as a plugin. This is going to take some time. Then I have a Chinook uh, database installed, as you can see. Now, if you connected to an existing database, you are going to get a connection string down here and in the actions part here it's going to say manage if you click manage it's going to open up that database and you can actually click on generate endpoints for whatever database inside of that database instance that you want to it's going to resemble this generate endpoint i'm just going to go to my chinook database and click generate endpoints at which point i'm brought on to this form then i'm just going to click generate endpoints and now I'm done with my backend web API and the system produced 2,614 lines of code for me, 100% automatically. I can click create, then I can go to front end generator. And then I can choose my module here. As you can see, it's already chosen it by default. I can call my app Chinook. And then I can choose some coloring for it. Let's choose Indigo. Now I can either generate it locally on my Cloudlet or I can just click download at which point I'm given a full stack Angular front end web app. Now I am going to unzip this Chinook.zip file and then I am going to open it up in Visual Studio Code. Uh, easiest way for me to accomplish that is to use terminal uh, download cd chinook code dot slash and then I'm opening up a 
VS code, allowing me to actually have a look at the code. And at this point, I can already open up a terminal and I can write, assuming you have Node.js and Angular installed, I can write npm i. This is going to link in the modules. This will take some time. Then when uh, npm i is done, I can write ng serve. This serves the Angular uh, project locally. And already at this point, I can, if you're a software developer, you can start editing the automatically generated code. As you can see here, there's tons of HTML code and CSS code and TypeScript code automatically generated for you by Aista Magic Cloud. When ng serve is done, you can open up another tab in Google Chrome and go to localhost. Uh, 4200 and then you can type your uh, username and uh, password let me see uh, hopefully i'm gonna remember my username and password and um, here's your full stack web app and um, now we are going to deploy it um, or actually upload it to uh, git now we are going to create a GitHub repository and push our Angular code to that repository. This is going to trigger the automatic CI/CD pipeline that automatically deploys the Angular code to our Cloudlet every time somebody pushes anything towards the master or main branch. Go to github.com if you haven't already signed up for their services, then sign up for their service, then click um, new repository here. And at this point, it's very important that you name your repository Chinook exactly like this name of your application. If you chose a different name, you have a different database, you need a different name here. I'm going to create a private repository. I'm not going to do any of these things here. I'm just going to click create repository. And now what I can uh, actually do now is that I can go back to uh, VS code and I can open up another terminal here and make sure I'm in the correct folder I'm inside of my Chinook folder then I can do git space init dish initializes my repository then I can um, add a new file here called dot git ignore very important otherwise it's going to be adding tons of uh, code to your github repository you don't want to um, add then i'm going to write dot angular slash asterisk then i'm going to write uh, carriage return node underscore modules slash asterisk then i'm going to save this guy and then if i do git status i will see all the files that needs to be versioned I'm uh, not entirely sure if you can uh, exclude this E to E thing too, but I, it doesn't really matter that much. Then I go back to um, uh, GitHub and I see the description here. However, instead of adding one readme file, I can just write git add dot. This adds all of these files and folders to my GitHub repository. Then you go back here, you see git commit, first commit. Okay, let's copy and paste that guy. Then let's see how many files it added. It seems to be correct. Then let's do git branch m master. Then let's do git remote add origin. Then let's do git push you origin master however before you execute this last line of code there is one thing you want to do you want to go back to your cloudlet here in the dashboard aista.com then you want to click your username here in the top right corner you want to click generate token and you want to copy to clipboard here and then you go back to github uh, your repository here you click settings and you go down to secrets you click actions and you create a new repository secret you name it exactly token capital letters only then you paste in your secret you add your secret here 
and then you go back to VS Code and you push your code to GitHub. Now what this is going to do, and you can actually watch it live as it is going on by going back to your GitHub repository in your browser and click Actions, is that it's actually going to trigger an automatic CI CD pipeline implying continuous integration and continuous deployment, automatically deploying this code after it has been compiled to your cloudlet. For my cloudlet, this happens to be lion-polterguy.gb.ace.com. If I go there now, lion polterguygbacecom you will see there is nothing here. However, once this action is done, executing hopefully my angular app will already be live and we can watch it this will take some time typically three to four minutes so let's wait until it finishes now our build is done and as you can see there's a green icon here so everything succeeded you can go back to the other browser tab and click refresh and here's your application and now you can log in with your username and your password, whatever that happens to be. And here's your full stack web app. And of course, uh, this one features all CRUD operations for, you know, every single database table you have in your system. And it features paging, filtering, Frank, SAPA, and, you know, every single table you have in your database exposes all four CRUD operations, create, read, update, and delete. Now at this point, what's really, really cool and kind of like the point about this is that if you now go back to VS Code, and let's just close this guy, and let's just close this guy, and let's find some file here, components. Actually, let's uh, get uh, this guy, I guess, Grab component. Not that guy, index HTML, then let's find h1. We have it here, hopefully, uh, well, I guess we don't. So let's find it up here in um, home, h1, here's our h1 thing. Now if we uh, write here, for instance, uh, I guess something here, so we're inside of home.component.html, we write this was uh, automatically deployed to your cloud lab. Ta -da, and we save it. If we now go back here and we look at this thing and we go to the home page here now, and we wait for it to refresh and we refresh this thing. You see here now we changed the code. Now, more importantly, if you have GitHub desktop, then administering your GitHub uh, project is very easy. If you don't have it, you can search or you can go to desktop.github.com and download it. I already have it, so I can just open it up here. And if I choose now Chinook, um, uh, let me add it. I think I need to add existing repository, local path, Chinook. Um, then you will see here the changes that I did. Red are minus, implying uh, lines of code I removed. Green are plus, implying lines of code I added. If I just now commit, might optionally write uh, something here. And then push, and I go back to GitHub. I click actions here, you will see now it's automatically started deploying my updated code to my cloud left. And some few minutes later, the home here is going to be updated with whatever changes I actually applied to it. Uh, you're going to have to refresh in production though, uh, in your own development environment locally. Uh, everything is refreshed automatically because of the uh, node. Uh, uh, web server, but in production you're going to have to refresh uh, by clicking Control R to see your changes. And uh, that's really it. And uh, this thing here costs you six euros per month. You can actually upgrade. This is a demo cloudlet. I can actually click upgrade here now, and I can pay six euros per month. See, I've already done that with another one. 
and I want to emphasize the number, the, the, the number of lines of code that uh, Magic produced for me in total from a backend web API. It's uh, something like uh, 3,000 uh, lines of code. So let's have a look at them. Modules, Chinook. Here you can see the Hyper Lambda code that the system produced for me. And then it produced an additional roughly 15,000 lines of Angular code. So that's a total of 18,000 lines of code. If you do the math on that, we know for a fact, for instance, that the average software developer can produce 550 lines of code per month. That's one software developer working for 32 months, divided by 12, 2.7 years worth of uh, work. Now, of course, this code is a little bit easy. It's not like the most complex code that exists on the planet. So maybe you can divide it by five or maybe even 10. However, you, you're still looking at months of development to, to get to this point. And yet again, this is just Angular code, right? So you can modify it any ways you see fits, right? And then you just push it to GitHub and it automatically deploys towards your cloud lens. So anyways, that was it for this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.